Hey guys, Edog here. Today I'm going to show you Sweet Machine version 8. Before I get started, this Sweet Machine takes MOME strips and MOME joysticks. To get a MOME joystick or a MOME strip, you need to put 10p in. So, following the instructions, it says select a suite using the slider above. So I'm going to go for a joystick. Insert 10p in coin slot, which is here. And it gives you some. Let's try it again. Another joystick. There you go. Sometimes they do get ever slightly stuck but it just needs to be knocked off the ledge. So, let's try out the main strip. Get 10p. Place it in the coin slot. Press the confirmation button. And you get some main strip. Let's try this again. And you get some main strips. I'll time lapse some tries now. Okay, so now we've got a hold of sweets out the machine, it's time to collect the money back. To get the money back, you have to turn the machine round and look for this gap here. You grab the key, insert it into the hole, push upwards and then pull and the little door will come off and then out comes with a bit of help the 10 peas from inside Since I've emptied the machine, we need to restock it. So let's do the strips first. You can tell this is the strip side by the logo. So what you have to do is grab the same key, put it in one of these two holes, push it upwards, and pull outwards. And that way, if I can move this coin that's fallen off, you can put the MOME strips into the machine. And then put the door back on. The process is very similar for the joysticks. You put the key in, you lift the door up, you remove the door and then you place the joysticks in to the machine. And then put the door back on once it's loaded. Now I will go through how this sweet machine works. So let's start with the coin mechanism and you can see the coin mechanism uses the rails that are common on many of the other switches I've made and what happens when you put a coin in, the coin slides down the rails and into the coin like tray which is just there. The coins are sensored by a colour sensor which can be seen by removing the roof and looking down this one just here next while we have the roof off I'll show you how the sourcing how the, the sliding element works so, with these pieces it's done using the ultrasonic sensor and if I remove some more on the slider there is a wall which it detects. If 
going on to how the sweet mechanisms work. You can see looking down there, the mechanism for the um, joysticks, which is the very simple method of just a pusher arm, which I will show you now. For the strips, it's a very simple mechanism, but to show you this, I will have to take off more of the roof. And remove this little wall here, which holds some wires in place. So, I'll be back in a second once I've removed the wires and the little wall. For this demonstration, I've removed the sweet, but they would usually be down here. If I press the button, you can see the conveyor belt, which is what is moving the sweets. I mentioned earlier the coin rejection. And if you look that way, you can just about see the edge of the ramp so that rejected sweets come out down here. You may have also noticed during disassembly, this um, IR sensor is there and why the remote is on my desk because this venting allows the remote control to use the beacon function the big button there to empty the machine at any point that it's needed to be emptied 